Hey YouTube, this is Ada. I'm coming in to do a video on a drink that I'm making um, to help boost our immune system. Uh, my son has been uh, kind of under the weather and I've been doing different remedies. I've been doing um, elderberry syrup and I've been doing um, lemon and elderberry tea. And today what I'm going to make, I'm going to make... Um, it's like a turmeric and ginger tea, but I'm gonna use turmeric because I don't have um, the turmeric root, but I do have ginger root. So I'm gonna use the ginger root, the turmeric. Um, I'm gonna use the manuka honey or the raw honey because I only have a little manuka honey left. I'm also gonna pull out my cabinet, some black pepper so that the turmeric, your body can absorb the turmeric. Because without the black pepper added, the body won't absorb the turmeric pro properly. And so, I'm also going to use some coconut oil. And the oil, the turmeric needs fat to be absorbed in the body. So I'm going to use that. And so, here we go. I'm going to get in a knife and I'm going to get started on the turmeric. Okay, how y'all doing today? How your how is the day going? I got a little cabin fever because I've been in the house for a few days now without really going um, two four just kind of to the grocery store and back and no real outing so today I got me a little outing I went a little farther but anyway y'all I'm gonna chop this turmeric up and some people take their spoon and uh, kind of spoon the hub off I kind of I peel mine I peel mine off y'all um some people chop it up with a little brown skin on it. So, you know, it's just, you know, whatever you want to do. But me, I'm going to peel mine. And what I'm going to do, I got a pot of water over here boiling. And after I chop my ginger up, shift it, because I'm the world's worst at leaving cabinets open. And after I, um, I don't know what's going on with it. But after I um, chop this up, guys, and put it in the pot, I'm going to um, start adding my other stuff. Now, you guys know I typically come in and I do videos about supplements. And sometimes I come in and I'll, the Lord give me something about... Um, a particular thing that he want me to share, I'll do that too. Because, you know, we want to be obedient to the Spirit. Those of us who's believers. And like I say, you know, I know people have different beliefs. But I'm just talking about, you know, my personal belief in the Lord. So, um, you know, ginger is good for information in the body. It's good for if you have um, problems with your digestive tract and bloating. Ginger is good for that. And turmeric is also good for the digestive tract as well. And from what I understand, the, any any of the warming herbs or um, spices or whatever like ginger is really good for digestion. Uh, I think I see... Um, Another person who do videos as well, I want to say he added a little cayenne pepper to his. So, I may try that because it may actually, you know, help speed up the process. And I know cayenne pepper is good for the body as well. So, I'm going to cut some more of this ginger, y'all. Because I plan to make a strong ginger tea. I don't know, guys. I've been doing uh, videos on um, reparenting your adult children. If you guys haven't checked that out, if you have adult people that you're dealing with and maybe some of them seem to be struggling to actually 
live as an adult, you may want to go in and check those videos out. I, I think they'll be helpful. And, um, you know, we all have our struggles. And as parent, a parent of adult children, you know, I realize that some of the responsibility when um, we need to go back and do some do-overs, you know, really fall on the parent. I mean, yes, they're adults, but sometimes if we haven't did all we could do when they were ch their children, and if they, we, um, you know, humble ourselves and just kind of admit, okay, there's some stuff that I didn't do, you know, it becomes an um, act of humility, really, and it really does take some humbling yourself believe me guys so i got this ginger chopped up so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and put it in my water so that can be boiling and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take probably about a tablespoon of this tumor because i got a lot of water and i'm gonna take probably a couple of i may what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna wait till i get ready to actually make the cups of tea and I'm, then I'm going to put the honey but you know you can use your honey the way you want to you can sweeten it to taste or you know you can put it in the water but what I'm going to do to keep from weight being wasteful and then still have to add honey when it's done I'm going to wait till it get done and you know what I think I'm going to do I think I'm going to go ahead and try just a little cayenne pepper too I'm also going to add my black pepper because remember you need black pepper to make the ginger absorbed well and we also need the coconut oil so what i'm gonna go ahead and do now i'm gonna get me a tablespoon and go ahead and add my turmeric and guys i made this drink last night and i really didn't expect that the beet is good but it was delicious i drank it just before i went to bed but it was really delicious i enjoyed it okay i'm back with my tablespoon and i'm gonna go ahead and just add me a tablespoon of this because this is probably going to make a few cups. So I'm going to see how it turn out with a tablespoon. And I'm going to go ahead and I don't really have a recipe, guys. So you just kind of have to go with your gut on this one. Go ahead and add that black pepper in there. Put quite a bit. Make that turmeric absorb. And then what I'm going to do, I, I have some coconut oil open actually. So... I'm just going to eyeball it. Well, you know what? i just go ahead and use this. I'll do like a tablespoon of that coconut oil. Because remember, need, the turmeric needs fat so it can be absorbed into the body. And so I'm going to let that boil slow. I think I've added everything. And let me tell you what else I did last night. Um, I mean, I was really surprised at how good this tea was. I mean, it was refreshing. It was just, I don't know. I don't know. He just put me in the zone, guys. It was really good. So, um, the other thing I've been doing, I am trying, I'm doing a fast. And I'm only telling you guys because I just feel led to talk to you. Because I feel like we need to fast every now and then for our body. Some people do it daily. It's called intermittent fasting. But I've been doing a daily fast and just wait till about 12 and eat. But then, you know, I decided um, to go ahead and do a fast. And so I didn't think I was prepared for a water fast. I didn't do that. But I'm trying to do all raw fruits and vegetables. Um, I did kind of fall off the wagon today because I got so hungry. I just did some nuts. Um, you know, they went raw, uh, but I did, then I did have a piece of gum because, you know, when you're trying to fast, sometimes, you know, you start getting those early detox symptoms and your mouth don't taste good. So I did have some gum, but that's what I'm doing, guys. Last night I had, I did a raw vegan taco and I did add some black beans, which wasn't raw, of course, we only eat black beans raw, but it was delicious and I actually got some ideas off of YouTube of, um, and I picked the taco that I felt that 
was much, was tailored more toward my style of eating. But you know what? It was delicious. It was delicious. I have to share my recipe with you because I tweaked mine a little bit. Um, I didn't go exactly by, you know, the other people recipes that I watched. I kind of tweaked it to my own style. You know how we do it. We kind of do our own thing. But the other thing I want to share with you guys, if you are, you know, cleaning up your diet or you're trying to eat healthier and you want a sweetener, here's a good one. This is stevia. Um, I'm using stevia and this is the French vanilla. And it is so good, guys. That I've been doing um, during this fast. You know, I plan to do some teas. I do the green tea. And we have a lot of herbal teas here that we do. So that's what I'm doing, um, guys. So while it's boiling, I'm going to go ahead and um, just kind of push some of this stuff to the side out my way. And just chit-chat with y'all a while until... It get done, then we're gonna look at it and uh, we're gonna taste it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, get the honey, get some of this honey added to it. Um, because I'm not because you know, I know vegans don't do honey, and so I'm not honey, I try to do plant based, so I'm doing a raw plant based diet. I hope I didn't say vegan, but um, you know, I know it's a little bit more you know, entail than what, but guys, I've been on this journey for a while now, I've always tried to eat fairly healthy. For, I would say, the past 20 years now, and I've been on and off the plant-based diet. I removed beef and pork from my uh, diet, oh my Lord, probably 20-some years ago. Uh, I don't do drinks. Every now and then I may have one, but I don't buy them at the house uh, unless, you know, the people, some my adult children make a request. But I don't really do sodas on a daily basis. But I do it. On, I will do one on a special case every now and then. That's not something I have to have. Um, I don't do a lot of juice. I will have a glass of apple juice, maybe with my diatomaceous earth, as I talked about in other videos. You know, I talked uh, about the healing benefits of diatomaceous earth, and I will, you know, add that to like a juice. But anyway, um, I've been on this journey for over 20 years, and I think about. I'm trying to see. Probably about three, four years ago, I tried the plant base and I was on it for a while. And, you know, uh, I would be kind of on and off. But I tell you, there's benefits to do any little small changes that you can do for your health. It really is beneficial. So, um, some of the things that I do, I do teas, I do, um, I do fruit always. I've been doing that for about. 20 years I make sure that you know it's purposeful and I keep plenty of fruit, fruit around um I told you I don't do the pork I don't do the bad oils um I do olive oil grapeseed oil avocado oil and I've been doing olive oil for a long time I don't fry chicken in my house my children didn't grow up eating fried chicken here not to say that they didn't eat fried chicken I just didn't cook it here and even I, you know, I would go out and get a piece of fried chicken if I wanted chicken or whatever, but I just didn't cook it here. So, um, it just never, we did Sunday dinners, you know, a lot of Sunday dinners, but it didn't include fried chicken, y'all. And not that I don't like fried chicken, but, and you know, years back, I realized that the oils that, um, most of us used to fry the chicken, it wasn't good. And that's just something that I didn't practice so they read people their friends kind of thought they were strange that we didn't do <laughs> fried chicken you know your mom don't cook fried chicken and of course they wasn't accustomed to it so it's okay you know um when we, when we went out you may we may have some or i may go buy some and bring it in but that wasn't a regular thing that we did um we've been cooking with uh i've been using turkey a long time because my husband had gout and he had to stop eating red meat so we switched over to turkey so that was something we got accustomed to and that's not to say that they didn't go out and get a hamburger not that i didn't go out but i just didn't cook it here and it wasn't a habit put it that way so just doing small changes guys make a difference it makes a big difference um in um your health so recently 
I lost my job probably about a year or so ago, and that's a whole, whole, whole nother story, guys, a whole nother story. But um, it was really, really stressful, and when I stopped working, I didn't realize how stressed I was. And so when I came home, um, I started having issues. I had low iron, um, all kind of issues, guys, because I really wasn't paying attention to my health at that time. I was working as a therapist, and... Um, <sighs> And like I said, I love the work I love because I work with young people. I worked as a, um, the, uh, it, it, toward the end of my job at this place where I worked, I worked as an intensive therapist, which means, you know, I had some kids who really needed intense help. And so, you know, we had uh, the kids who were really at risk, you know, uh, for, they were really at risk in society without getting the help that they need. So, you know, I was a different type of therapist. I did things my way, so to speak, um, which was good and bad. But uh, I really believe that you should show unconditional positive regard for the person. And people say that, but when the rubber meet the road, guys, I promise you it's a lot different. Different. And I know, guys, I'm off topic, but I'm just telling you, I have a heart for kids and young people. Um, and um, I have a heart for people, you know. But uh, that really threw me for a loop, um, you know, losing my job and just ending up at home at this age and stay. He was just totally, un you know, I, I wouldn't have predicted that. And then along comes old Corona, you know, to add fuel to the fire, guys. So it it was a year, but, you know, I thank God that he kept me. And, you know, all things work together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. So it worked out because I had to really deal with stuff that I hadn't dealt with, that I thought I had dealt with, but I really hadn't dealt with. So he kind of sat me down and... um. I begin to process and deal with things that I need to deal with and also take care of my health, which leads me back to here. You know, just being mindful of what I eat, um, making sure you do, you know, you get your greens in, whether it's a green salad, a green smoothie, or fr uh, fruit, um, well, your greens, your fruit, your vegetables, you know, and just small step, baby steps, you know. If you just do a salad a day, buy lettuce and you know, maybe a tomato, cucumber, whatever you have, and do a salad a day. Maybe, you know, you, because, you, you know, we can find a dollar to go to the store. Uh, Walmart have, or wherever you shop, you can get the little small bags of vegetables. If it's just you and your family, uh, you may, you could do um, a few bags of vegetables, you know. And if you still eat meat, you know, try to find the healthiest meat, small portions or whatever, just small baby steps. You know, because God didn't make the world overnight. It took him seven days, well, six days, because the seventh day he rests. But, you know, baby steps toward health and healing. And, you know, try not to compare yourself with anybody else or your journey. You know, just do you. You know, little exercise. If it ain't but walking, start with 10 minutes, 15 minutes a day. And um, just do that. Whatever it takes to, you know, start your journey. Because I promise you guys, it's more than just about physical, mental health, mental, and mental health. It's almost like it's a spiritual journey, you know. And we begin to discover ourselves and things about ourselves that we really didn't even know. So, you know, I just encourage you guys, you know, to take care of yourselves and just make sure you're managing your relationships and the people that's close to you manage, manage those relationships well. Um, because at the end of the day, you know, all that stuff matter. You know, those people that, is that are close to us that are in our lives, they need the best of us. And we need to give the best of us. And we can only do that by really taking good care of ourselves. And, um, yeah, taking really good care of ourselves. All right. Let's see. That's when it's boiling over here, y'all. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this spoon and I'm gonna give it a stir. Just kind of stir. See how it looks. 
factor. And that turmeric, you know, turmeric is a really strong herb. It really is. It's very strong. And, you know, I got the oil added in there. And so what I'm going to do, when this gets through boiling, I'm going to go ahead and pour a cup of it up for my son because, you know, he's been struggling um, with um, a cold. And every year he does get a cold, uh, quick to catch a cold. So I have, I'm trying to make sure his immunity build up because I can give him a bunch of stuff to manage the symptoms. But, you know, we're trying to get to the heart of the matter. And I want to show you guys another thing about, you know, healing and health and your journey and just things that, you, small things that you can do, guys. Um, two or three cups of tea a day, you know, or start with one cup. Move up to two. But I'm, I'm going to show you. This is my little tea bin, and guys, it is full of herbal teas. And while this cooking up, we're just talking now. I'm going to show you some of the teas that I have here. Um, this is like ashwagandha tea. That is good if you're under a lot of stress. You can use ashwagandha um, to help manage your stress level. It's relaxing, guys. And what it does, if you need energy, it's going to give you energy. If you need to relax, it'll relax you. But that's powerful there, guys. Um, of course, I have, like, peppermint tea, which is good for the stomach. Um, this is another tea. This is stress relief, and that's by yoga. And it's kava, which is a herb that will help manage your stress. It will help relax you. Um, it's one that I have in here that I was giving my son. For his to help build his immunity. Now there's the turmeric. I have a turmeric tea, but I, I actually use the um, turmeric that I have in my little cubby. I also have like a ginger tea. But God, these are things that you know you can do. It, it's doable. You know to drink your herbal teas and. Just start small. Even if you haven't really completed change your diet, you may want to incorporate tea. You may want to incorporate more fruits and vegetables. If you know, my point is just doing making small changes until you kind of get to the place where well, it's the journey, so we'll never arrive. But you get to the place where you're really comfortable and with what you're doing, and you feel good about your health and you're feeling good about your journey and you're learning and you know you can continue to incorporate uh different things but anyway guys i believe it's about ready let's see and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and just pour me up a cup and put a little honey and show you how to fix it and i'm gonna sip oh i know the other thing i did i did lemon i also did the lemon so um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pour me up a cup I'm going to run over here and get this lemon right quick. I'm going to come back and I'm going to pour me up a cup and then I'm going to taste it. And you, I'm going to tell you guys how it tastes. We're going to do a taste test. Here's the lemon. And I have a daughter here who drink. She drink a lot of tea. She drink tea every day. I don't know. How much tea she go through in a day, y'all. But I'm glad she started buying it. <laughs> She's an adult. That's one of the ones I'm repairing it to. Yeah. But then I'm going to wash this off and I'll be back. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and kind of slice it. And I'll use, you know, maybe a, a fourth of a, 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 yeah, a fourth. Sometimes I use a half a lemon. It just depends on what I'm doing. Um, you know, this morning um, I had my little cacao tea. Not tea, I'm sorry, my cacao uh, latte that I made with coconut milk and it was good. I do that with the French vanilla and honey. 
you know, the cacao has a lot of magnesium in it. So that's what I did this morning, guys. And some people, some people strain the tea and put it in the fridge, you know, and then do whatever. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and have a hot cup right off the stove like I did last night because it was delicious. Um, get my little cup here, guys. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead... And get some of this honey. I'm gonna rinse this off because I'm, I'm gonna use me about a tablespoon. You don't have to use that much, but that's what I'm gonna use, okay? Because um, doing this wrong fast, you know, I'm trying to make sure that I get the nutrients that I need. And I know I can get them through my fruit and vegetable, but um, this is almost like a treat, too. So, um, go ahead and get this honey. It's pulling out about that much. See? Okay. And when I pour, pour it over this hot liquid over the honey, it's going to... I'm going to melt in my honey. I'm going to take that out. And this turmeric, you know, it'll stain your counters and stuff too. But bleach, you know, use a little bleach. It'll get it off, you know, if you have a white counter such as I do. You know, have to be mindful. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze that little lemon in there. Yeah. I got one of those little lemon squeezers somewhere. I got to find it. But I'm going to squeeze that lemon in there like that. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a little stir with my little plastic spoon. And then I'm going to taste it. And you know what, guys? If it's not sweet, so what a way I like, I'm going to use this stevia, which is a natural sweetener that I showed you guys earlier. French vanilla. And it is delicious for teas and stuff like that. I'm going to also make my son a cup in a minute. But anyway, here we go. It's good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add me a little stevia because it's not it's quite as sweet as I like it, guys. You may not like yours that sweet, but I'm gonna put that stevia in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it another little stir. Which I'll wash this for a use ago. I know I had it, you know, in my mouth. So before I dip my son's honey or whatever, we're gonna go over there and wash it. You know, I know what made it taste really good now, y'all. It's that French for that mm hmm That's in the stereo. But it is so good and refreshing, y'all. That's good. Okay, guys. That's it for my um, video. And I just showed you how to uh, share it with you. The drink that I'm making. Some of you guys may already make this. I don't know. But, uh... I actually saw a video that made me kind of uh, add the lemon because I don't think I was adding the lemon tonight. And I was doing a drink, but I wouldn't add the lemon. But I, the lemon, blah, blah, blah. but I saw uh, a video that Flav, I think it's, he called himself Flav City or what have you, but where he added the um, lemon and cayenne pepper. So that made me add the lemon, and it tastes so refreshing, guys, and it's healthy for you, and it's good. And it'll help your digestive tract. So, you know, try it sometime. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me. If this video has been helpful or not, or if you just like chit-chatting with me, you know, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.